Hi, sir. Good evening. How are you this evening? Good. Excellent. Just letting people in. Sure. Oh. my ducks. There's Rocky there. Leave my people from our club. I'm <laughs> You shut, you shut, you shut, you shut. You shut. Yes, you shut. Okay, ready to get settled. Two more coming in. Lovely. Okay, let's go, everybody. Just make sure that you can see yourself and your camera. Luke, you might just need to angle your camera down a little bit. Because when you step back, I'll only see your head. Lovely. Barrack, if you could just angle yours down a little bit as well, because I'm only getting above your chest. That's it, that'll look a little bit further. That'll do. Okay, lovely. Oh, got a couple more wins come in. Okay, let's get started, guys. Shut up. Come on, take a walk. Raise your right hand and recite the tenets. It's your job. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, indomitable spirit. And recite the oath. It's your job. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect the instructor and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. But just before we get started, I just want to make sure that I've got everything working correctly. Does everyone see the screen of me in the majority of their screen? Raise your hand if you see me in the majority of your screen. Raise your hand if you see a gallery of a whole lot of different people. Okay, good. Because we don't want you seeing, if you see a gallery, it's going to be pretty hard to focus what to look on. So I spotlight me, so hopefully you can see me. That's great. Do a little simple warm up today that doesn't require too much thinking. So rotating your wrists. And change direction. 
elbows. Change direction. Arms back. And forward. Mr. Kernahan, you might want to flip that video up the other way. Or it'll look like you're balancing on your head. It's in your video settings, Mr. Kernahan. And torso. And left ankle. Change direction. Oh, we've got some great faces we haven't seen in our Zoom sessions before. So welcome back to everyone who's been here before and welcome to those who haven't been here before. It's great to see some new faces. Change foot. Change direction. We've got a few that haven't got their cameras on as well. If you're just having a look to see how it goes, that's fine. Just turn your camera on when you're ready. The main difference between having your camera on and not having your camera on is that I can give you feedback. Because you should really just see me. Ah, it's cool down there you are, and you're the right way up. It's awesome. Okay, hands on knees, and down, back. Remember to look after your injuries if you have any injuries. And circling the legs outwards. Keep your hands up. And inwards. And just gently with your hips. Change direction. Just grab something you can lean on a little bit. It can be a chair, you can put your hand on the wall. Whatever really works for you. Other hand up by your jaw. And just gently, front rising kicks, 12 inch leg.
and then side rising kicks. Remember to keep your supporting foot pointing opposite to the direction you're kicking. And then do them straight to the rear. Okay, so rear, rear rising kicks from here. Leg comes up, bent towards your chair, and then you go straight back. And the other leg. Okay, a couple of really important things before we continue. First up, of course, may the fourth be with you. Very important. And second up, raise your hand if it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Huge happy birthday. Raise the number of fingers you are for the number of years you have. Really, 10. Wow. Okay, so we're going to celebrate the birthday with 10 push-ups. So, everyone in for push-ups? Make nice fists. Adults in particular. Young guys, you can do them on your hands. Fists on the ground for adults. And we'll do 10 lovely push-ups to celebrate Liam's birthday. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And steady up. How awesome to have your birthday on May the 4th. That is wicked. Okay. Now, let's warm those legs up a little bit more. Parallel restarts. Repeat. Right leg back forearm guarding block. With Kia. Repeat. And nice and lightly to start with. Front snap kick, step together. Strong guarding block when you step back. Huh. Keep your hands up when you kick. Door. Set. No. Remember when you do your guarding block, keep your hands up. Lift them back. And then swing them forward to block as you land. So I'm going down. Up, I reach back. Down, I land in my stance. Okay, front step kicks. Just stay in time with me, so I don't just count. Go. Good, come on. Okay, now let's step it up a little bit. Warm the hips up a bit, a bit more. Dolo Chagi. Same thing, strong guarding block after you kick. Remember to pivot that supporting foot. Down, up, down. Ready, ha! 
Maybe your target's at 45 degrees to you. Okay? So if my right leg's back, I'm kicking here. My left leg is back, I'm kicking here. Not all the way around. Okay, ready. Tap. Next. Yasso. Yasso. Elbow. Make sure you pivot that supporting foot first, boys. Yaro. Aho. Yo. And just stay in time with me. Come on. Okay. Yopcha Jerigi. We're going to do Yopcha Jerigi to the side. So if you're training with your brother, sister, somebody else in the family, make sure you offset. So don't stand directly in line where you're kicking each other with one person in front of the other person. Okay? You'll be off on a diagonal. That's good. From here, for my right leg side piece again, I've got a pivot. My supporting foot the opposite direction, lift my knee and foot nice and high, and then stamp it out and back. Sit together, then the other leg, knee comes up, pivot the supporting foot, stamp it out, back, and together and back. Ready with the right leg. Ha! Other leg, cool. Okay, now I want everybody cross when you load and punch when you kick. Try not to drop the shoulders the way I just did. Keep them open. Open up the shoulders, don't turn them downwards. So cross, kick, and then the other leg. Ready, hold up. Good, try and keep that short, top shoulder open. Cool. Here you go. Straighten right. the leg, right out. Leave it there, come out. You know, oh. Good, Lucas. Nip. Toss up. If you're flicking a bit like a turning kick, make sure you're stamping. Yes, up. Okay. Now, make sure, I want everybody just to kick at the height of your belt. Nothing higher than your belt, so we're getting a nice motion. Lift the knee and foot nice and high. Stamp it out, retract, other side. Okay, so I want everybody making sure your knee and foot are nice and high, and then you're stamping straight out. So we're not kicking too high, we're not kicking higher than our flexibility and strength allows. Just out of belt level. Ready, right side. Come up. Kicking straight to the side so I can see you're kicking the camera. Duel. Nice, Mr. West. Just make sure you bring it back the same way before you land. Tap. Good, Mr. Filo. Just try and keep that knee in front. Remember to lean a little bit. Next. Good, good with the Hardy family. Does it? That's better, Tiffany. Good, Mr. Kunan, just a little bit higher for your belt. You're kicking a little bit too low. Does it? Lovely, Liam, just lift your punch up a bit higher. So don't punch along your leg, punch it higher than your leg at eye level. Yes, sir. Mr. Saunders, punch it out. Try and really punch it out. Yes, sir. So you gotta load the kick. If you don't load it, it's not gonna punch out. Load the kick. Yes, sir. Elbow. 
Diablo. Okay. Now you get a little bit higher. Try and aim for your shoulder height. The same thing. Lift that knee and foot, lean, and then go straight out. Okay. Try not from here. You don't want to lift your foot here and then rise out this way. Okay. You want to load and pierce out. Ready. Mike out. Right leg first. Come on, Jack. You don't look ready. Ha! Huh. Punch it out. Feel the power. Tool. Lift the knee. Don't let that knee fall. Set. Nice, Mr. Bajan. Net. Good, Mr. Po uh, Mr. Philo. Toss up. Yes, up. Good, my nice family. Elgo. Nice looking kick, Mr. Saunders. Just get a bit more punch. Yaddle. Aho. You. Miss Ellery, if you could just angle your camera down a little bit, that would be cool. Okay. Last one before we uh, finish our warm up. From here, we're going to go into. Left leg back into your L signs forearm guarding block. We're going to do reverse turning kick to the side rear. So I'll do it facing you first, lifting my leg up and driving back to 45 degrees behind me. Then retract and down. Okay? So I'm using my front leg to kick this time, coming straight back around this way. And then I want my other leg in front, straight back around this way. I'll do it facing the other way from here. I've got my left leg back, my right leg in the front. I'm going to kick with my right leg. It rises up nice and straight, my bum sticking out. And then I pull with my hamstring to straighten my body and leg. Okay? From here with the other leg, lift my leg up, stick my bum out, and then straighten it up using the hamstring. Okay, ready. Right leg forward first. So you're kicking with your right leg, 45 degrees behind you. Three. Ha! Go on, scoot in like this. Two. Set. Net. Remember, you're stopping this kick 45 degrees behind you, not all the way behind you. Tassel. Look where you're kicking. And keep the other hand up by your jaw when you do it. Ugo. Oh, the other one. Yes, sir. Okay, now Ugo. Running. Just watch the wall there, Miss, uh, Miss Gibbons Hardy. Maybe just come forward a little bit. Yeah, because you do want to swing around in, a, in an arc with this. Swings around on an arc. Okay. You want to do all. Yes, Mr. Heath, of course. Okay, four more. Ha! Two. <clears throat> Just watch that wall behind you, Mr. Gibbons Hardy. Set. Good, Mr. Saunders. Just try and lift that foot up a little bit earlier. So you're swinging it across. No. Good, you want a straight leg at the moment of impact, or almost straight. Straight enough to be considered straight. This way. Okay, some of you are bringing your body up straight and then getting to here and hooking. Okay, I want to stick my bum out and then straighten up. So it's, this is the action that I'm going for. Just like a downward kick. Okay, so when I'm leaning, I've got my bum sticking out just like that. And then I'm pulling it across. Okay, this motion. So I'm bending myself forward and then pulling my leg to straighten my body up. Let's try four more. Ha! Feel the power coming from that pull of your other leg. Do it. 
So what kick is this? Reverse turning kick, Mr. Kunan. So, but we're doing it without spinning. We're kicking with the front leg. Matt. Good, Mr. Trotter. Toss up. Good, Mr. Heath. Yes, sir. Go on, bottle. Okay, grab a good drink. Oh. Oh, okay, ready. Now we're gonna work with some, do some partner work. For most of you, I'm gonna be your partner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some three step, then we're gonna do some two step, and then we're gonna do some one step. Okay, so first we're gonna do it all together, and then we're gonna do it with me as your partner. So first up, I just need to check if everyone stands nice and close forwards, Come nice and close, come nice and close. From here, can you take three walking stances backwards? And then step back, okay? So we need a little bit more just to do that forearm low block. If you can't, just change and go a little bit diagonally. Okay, but you'll still want to see the screen a little bit later on. So from here, parallel ready starts. Should be. If you haven't got enough room to do three steps, remember the way we modify. Okay, so I'll demonstrate first. Imagine I'm here and this is all the space I have. I'm going to do my low block with Kia. I'll go one punch, two punch. I don't have enough room for three, so I'm going to step back and then do my third punch. And then when I block, I come as far forward as I can, keep, and I'll go one, two, and if I don't have room for the third one, take a step forward and then do three. That's gonna make our timing a little bit off when we do it as partners, but we'll do our best. Okay, ready, all together, parallel ready starts. Now step your right leg back, forearm low block, and walking starts. Ha, ha. Three punches moving forwards, go. Right, left, right, and battle. Here, go, huh. and right foot back. One, two, three, huh. flat fingers to thrust. Good, and battle. Let's do it again. Forearm low block, right leg back. To me, go. Three punches, go. And return. If you're adjusting, I'll give you a little bit more time after we return to catch up, so don't stress about it. Key up, go. Two. And three blocks and counter. Go. Four. And return. Nice. Okay, that's number one. Number two. This time we're going to attack with flat fingers at thrust. We're going to block with forearm high side block. So crossing on top, blocking outwards. And our counter attack this time is gonna be four fist middle punch. Okay, so ready? Forearm low block. Duh! Now three flat fingers at thrusts. 
You should have your right leg back. Ready? Good long stances. Don't do short, woodly stances. Go. One, two, three. And sit back, butt off. And on the spot, key up. Go. Huh. Crossing on top. Forearm high block. The same as movement one of Dosan. For those who know Dosan. Go. No punch. Huh. Bottle. And now we'll repeat it. Forearm low block. Go. Huh. Three thrusts. Go. Bottle. Kip. up. Go. Huh. Three blocks and counter attack. Go. Huh. And sit forward. Now the third one we're going to do from our forearm low block, we're going to attack just with a middle punch again. Just with a four fist middle punch. Our defense this time is forearm inward block. Remember, we extend the non-blocking hand forward. Blocking hand comes to the side, and it swings in when we pull back to our hip. This way. You can do a couple slowly now if you want to in your parallel stance. So this is our block. Our counterattack this time, we're going to shift the front foot into sitting stance. And counterattack with a knife hand side strike. Okay, knife hand side strike. Okay, ready. Parallel ready stance. And ready to attack. Three, two. Middle punches. Go. Bottle. And key up. Right leg goes back first, forearm inward block. Go. Two. Sorry, I was thinking ahead. And knife hand side strike. With Kia. And return. So now we have to bring the left foot back to where it was and then step the right foot in so that we don't change our starting position. Once more with that one, so I can get it right. Ready for attack. Go. Two. And three punches. Go. And butt off. Ready. Go. Two. And blocks and counter. Go. Two. And then return. Okay, so there are three. Remember, we went punch, punch, punch. And with our punch, we went in a forearm, two, three, key up on our flat fingertip thrust. Number two, we went thrust, thrust, thrust. Side block, high block. And then we counter attacked with our four fist middle punch. We could also there do reverse knife hand inward strike which would be a good one because it's one of your compulsory movements. Go okay, striking with your reverse knife hand. So we do that instead if you want to. And then number three, we went punch, punch, punch. Four, I'm inward block. And then we changed to sitting stance for our knife hand side strike. So if you have a partner at home of similar height and they want to work with you, Tiffany and Toby, yeah, good move, Tiffany, then work together. Otherwise, I'm going to be your partner. So you've got to time it with me. I'm going to imagine that I hear you key up. I'm going to key up, give you a moment to key up, and then I'll begin. So you need to make sure that you're watching. Ready. Pull.
Okay, now it's your turn to attack, but I've got to move, so wait till I key up, then wait a second, and then start punching so that we can all go together. So ready, in your ready position, go. Wait for me to key up. Two. Two. And return. So just return the same time I do. That's good. Okay, let's do number two. Two. Okay, now I'm waiting for you for number two. Do your forearm low block. And return. Good. Now number three. Now, as I say in class, remember when you're defending, you react to your partner. You don't predict. But I now have about 14 or 15 partners. So I need to make sure that you're all trying to work in time. So imagine that you're all, I'm re responding to you. Okay, number three this time. Middle punch, forearm inward block, knife and side strike. <laughs> Takes a little bit longer to return from that one because you've got to get to the same place as you started. Okay, now your turn to attack, so get ready. When I see that everyone's ready, I'll key up. Lucas, where did you lose Ethan? Okay. Two. Two. Cool. Okay. We'll do all three of them once more, but a little bit faster. So we're gonna be really on rhythm. Okay, so in time with me. Two. Don't get left behind. This last, the second one is your counter attack. I want you to do the reverse knife and inward strike instead of the punch. Two. Yeah, your turn. And straight into number three. Two. You're up. Good shot. Oh, I got okay. Okay, we're going to do the same thing now with green belt 
two-step sparring. Okay, so I'll demonstrate it. You'll do it. We'll repeat a couple of times. Then we'll partner up and do it. Okay, so two-step sparring. The ready position is always L stance forearm guarding block. Okay, for two step, it's always L stance forearm guarding block. Okay, the attacks, there's three of them. We do the same attacks at green belt and blue strike because it keeps it simple. So, blue strikes, when you're counter attacking later, you can use your own syllabus. Blue belts and above, you can choose which one you want to do. Or if you're really keen, you can make your own up for the attacks. So, the first attack is walking stance front punch, low front snap kick. Okay, so it's two movements that go straight forwards. One, two. That's the first attack. I want to take you through the attacks first. The second attack is two side techniques. First, you do a side piercing kick with your rear leg. Then you step one shoulder width down and step forward into an L stance side punch. Okay. So the first one was front punch, front kick. The second one is side kick, side punch. Because you're in an L stance, it's called a side punch. Okay? The third one is movements that kind of come in on an, on an angle. From, from your guarding block, you start with a knife hand side strike. It comes around an angle, and you follow it with a rear leg side turning kick. So they're both coming around an angle. So you've got front, front, side, side, angle, angle or in whatever. Okay, so they're the three attacks. Let's do those together first. Ready? Ready up. Al Sartre's forearm guarding block. Two, three. Two step always starts in L Sartre's forearm guarding block, where three step always starts in walking Sartre's forearm guarding block. Okay, so from here. One. Two. Cool. Nice and simple. Let's do it again. Two. Stay in time with me and go. Nice. Okay, cool. Number two's attack. Side kick, side punch. So the first one was punch, then kick. This one's kick, then punch. Two. Straight forwards, we're going side piercing kick, step down and use your left hand to punch. Right leg to kick, left hand to punch. Go. Good. And back, once more. Good. Kick with the right leg, step down and then step forward to punch with the left hand. Go. Go. Nice. Cool. Okay. Let's see number three. We're looking pretty awesome. From four and going up. Get up. Go. Now we do knife and side strike. One. Go. And then the rear leg. Side turning kick. And land in an L ready stance. Make sure you're half facing here. Not too far forward like this. Nice and natural. Good. Once more. The L ready starts just gives your opponent a target to work with. Let's do both movements, one count. Go! Nice, and come on. Now, I'm going to show you counter attacks to those three. Seniors, that's blue stripes and above, feel free to do your syllabus or red belts and above, feel free to make stuff up that you think is appropriate. So the first one, where we had the front punch and the front kick, we're going to step from here. Pull. We step back to the inner forearm middle block. One. Then we step back again into a forearm low block against the front kick. And then on the spot, pull. we punch. Now we don't have to wait for the partner to land. This is really important. So if I'm doing the kick, you block it and then punch as I land. 
Don't wait for me to land and then punch. Okay, you really want to get my momentum going forward and your power coming in. Okay, so ready. From here, do. Stepping back with the right foot. One. And stepping back for a low block. Two. Punch to counter attack. Two. Three. Nice. Once more. Two. Go. Two. Model. Now we're going to do the attack and the defense as one pair. Attack first. Two. Go. You do the attack as well. So we're just going to put them together. Punch first. Go. Front kick, go. Walking ready stance. And bottle. And key up from here, go. And defense, go. Good. Bottle. Okay, it's number one. Number two, remember for the attack, we did side piercing kick, and then we did side punch. Just let me check on what we do in the book. Yes, good, I had it. Okay, so from here, that right leg side piercing kick comes in. So from that, for that, we're gonna use our palm downward block. So extend the other hand out, and then knock that side kick down just a little bit. They come in for the punch. I'm gonna step back, do a knife hand guarding block. Then I'm going to lift that front leg up, that nice right front leg, pop it in, hit to the floating ribs. Two. Step together, step back into a guarding block to finish. Okay? So once more to demonstrate from here. Two. Oh, sorry, Kia, first get my timing. Two. And then one L stance here. Two L stance. Two. Counter. Okay, so we key up to, to get ready and key up on the counter attack. No extra ones like I just made up there. Okay, so ready. Do that together. Parallel ready starts. Repeat. Give yourself two steps backwards. We need the, we need the room to go backwards. Two. And time with me, go. Two. Good. The old goal, remember to pivot that supporting foot on the side kick. Once more. Let's do it again. Together. Two. Go. Two. Now we'll do the attack and the defense in sequence. Then we'll do number three. Then we'll do them together. Get ready. Attacking first. Two. Right leg back, that's it. Now your side kick, side punch, go. And return. Go. Bottle. Good. Now we're going to do number three. Number three is awesome because it has a reverse turning kick in it. Now, just to demonstrate this first, remember the attack was a knife hand side strike, which is quite a slow movement, stepping forward. We've got to come all the way around and then strike in this way. We deliberately did that so you'd have time to do this defense. Big step back, lift your front leg, your left leg, and do crescent kick to block that knife hand side strike, okay? And you want to block it on the forearm of the knife hand, not up at the elbow or the, or the triceps. So you've got to take a big step back. Then, when your opponent steps in to do their side turning kick, with the left leg coming here, when I see them come in, I'm going to shift off to the side. Doesn't matter which leg you shift back with. Doesn't matter. 
your counterattack, rear leg reverse turning kick. So usually you'll sh shift back so you can kick with your favorite leg. That's the secret. Okay, so once more from here, I'll get up, hop, big step, block, pause here. When the kick comes, shift off. Counter attack with reverse turning kick. Or I'm guarding them. Okay, we're ready. Let's do those together. Just make sure you've got enough room for the reverse turning kick. So take the first one a little bit carefully. Rankin Mills, your camera just went to the ceiling for some reason. Don't know whether it slipped. Okay. Now. Huh. Okay, so stepping backwards first. Big step back, kick with the left leg. Ha! Huh. Put the foot on the ground and pause. Then when you see the turning kick, shift off to the side and do a forearm guarding block. Make sure you land in a stance here, not something half, half job. And reverse turning kick with the rear leg. Good, okay, once more. Just be careful with your space. And go. Good. If there's a few of you in the room, you might want to just take turns. Although I should have said that before. Okay, let's do the attack, then the defense. Pair them up. From here, forearm guarding block. Remember it was knife and side strike, side turning kick. Go. And return. Now the defense. Duh. Go. And return. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do all three of those. I'm your partner. If you have room and a partner of appropriate height in your lounge, feel free to do it with your partner but only if you've got room and your partner, you and your partner can work together appropriately, okay? Otherwise, you might wanna do it one at a time if you need the space, although for the first couple you're fine because it's just forward and backwards, but for the last one you might wanna take turns doing it. Get ready. I'm attacking, you're defending, I'm gonna assume that you care for a moment after me. Three. Tiffany, yes, you can. If you have a read. See what that other message is saying. Yes, it is. Okay. Ready? Huh. I'm doing the front punch, front kick. You're doing the inner forearm, middle block, low block, and then middle punch. Okay. And go. Remember, you don't have to wait for me to land. Okay, now I'm gonna do the defense, so those of you that forgot what the defense was, you can watch this time. Okay, attack is ready. You've got the front kick, front, uh, front punch, then front kick. And your guarding block, show me you're ready. When you punch, I'm gonna block. And return. Okay, that was number one. Number two, remember, is the side kick, side punch, and your defense is one, two, front leg, side kick, three. Okay, I'm gonna attack first. You need to be ready. And we're gonna go. That's it, knife hand guarding block, Jess. That's it, and then the side kick. That's it. And return. Okay, now it's your turn to attack. 
Ready. You're doing side kick, then side punch. Two. Two. And return. Good. Okay, remember the last one, knife and side strike, side turn and kick. And you're doing the crescent kick, shift off to the side, make your garden block. Then reverse turning kick. Okay, ready. I'll attack first. Two. Good. But all. Okay, your turn to attack. Waiting for your guarding blocks. And return. Good. Now we're going to do all three once more. A little bit faster because we know what we're doing now. We're all ready. Toby and Tiffany, come on, let's go. Brains on. Everything in time. Me. Two. Number one. Good. Your turn to attack. Go. Two. Two. Cool. Okay, number two. Side kick, side punch. Okay. Two. Okay. That's it. Look where you're kicking. And return. Okay, your turn to attack now. Side kick, side punch. Ready? Two. Yes. Huh. Good, nice. Okay, now number three. Ready for number three. Two. Okay, crescent kick, then the step off, guarding lock, reverse turning kick. And here I come. Nice. Bottle. Okay, and your turn to attack. Go. Two. Grab skier. Good. Bottle. Okay, come in and take a drink. So if you've been working hard doing that, you should be nice and sweaty. If you haven't been working hard, you won't be. Okay, so make sure you're doing lots and lots of energy into it. When we do this normally with a partner, as I say all the time when we do step sparring, remember you have to react to your partner. It's a little bit funny here that when I'm attacking, you can see me and counterattack. That's brilliant. But when you're attacking, I can't wait for one person because I've got lots of people that I'm doing it with, partnering with together, okay? So I would normally be reacting to your movement. Very obvious in the last one with the reverse turning kick. If I shift off and do my guarding block before you've started your kick, it makes no sense for you to kick, okay? So I have to wait until your kick's on the way and then shift off. So step sparring, as much as learning the sequences, is about seeing and understanding how your opponent moves. 
when they attack and defend. So then when it's non prearranged, you already feel how that how it works. Anybody got any questions? Okay, one step. We've got a bunch of blue belts here. One step is performed by blue belts and above. In the book, the encyclopedia, General Che would say one step, he says virtually one step is the most important type of sparring because it is the closest to actual combat. Your attacker does one attack, you do one counter attack and that's it. For those of you who don't know, that's why in Taekwondo our belt only goes around our waist once. There are three reasons for it. One, you should pursue a single goal. So set your sights on a goal and go for it. Secondly, be loyal to a single master. So follow, so don't split your loyalties, things get really messy. Okay. And the third one is victory in a single blow. One shot, you're done. Well, the opponent's done and you are time to walk away. That's what we aim for. We never assume that's going to happen in self-defense. We do make sure that every strike we throw is enough to finish the opponent. Okay, so one step's the closest to that. Now, ready position for one step is here because it's just close to a natural standing position. Okay, and if you're attacked suddenly, you want to be ready just to react in an instant. So, you know, attack from here, and then you can either defend and then counterattack from here, or just immediately counter, dodge and counter, depending on what the attack is and what your counterattack is. For blue belt, now first thing, I want you to think carefully about whether in your training space it is safe to jump. Okay? If mum or dad are watching, you just want to make sure that that's okay. For those of you that have got old wooden floors, you don't want to go through the wooden floor, check it out how high the lights are relative to you. Okay, so a couple of things here. Because at Blue Belt, all the counter attacks are flying kicks. Those of you who have not got Blue Belt, you can modify these to make them work for you. Okay, so we're going to start really, really simply. The attack is Walking Stars Forpus Punch. The defense, I'm going to be in that position where if I don't move, I'll be hit by my walking stance forfus punch. So I'm going to step off to an L stance in a forearm middle block, just like Chong Ji. Then I'm going to shift up and do a flying front snap kick. My light's a little bit low here, so I'm going to imagine I'm flying. Some of you will imagine, some of you will do. The thing with one set sparring is we do it on both sides, left and right. Okay, so from here, Let's do the attack together, then the defense together. Everybody up. Come on, Luca. Breaks over. Oh, I've got somebody waiting to come in. There we go. Okay. So, right leg. Punch. Okay. That's it. And return. Make sure you punch to the center. Lucas, you look like you're punching off to the side a little bit. Okay, and the left side. And left side punch. And return. Okay, so that's the attack. Nice and simple. Now the defense. The right side coming first. So it's coming over here. I'm going to step my right leg back. One. And then I'm going to jump up. Flying front kick. Two. And then finish with a guarding block. Then we'll do the other side. Huh. Step with my left, and then kick with my left foot. Okay, so let's do that together. First the kick up. Huh. Right leg back, and a forearm middle block. I'm gonna take a very slight angle when I do this to give me more range for my counter attack. Huh. Nice flying kick. Try and fly nice and high and kick the fulcrum height. Nice and high on your partner, if you've got room. And then we return. Now the left side. Ready, go. One, 
And two. Four and gutting block. Remember when we fly, we want to tuck the other leg up. That's when we want to tuck both of our legs up when we fly. Front kick is often in this position when you're in the air. Okay? Side piercing kick is more in this position in the air, tucking your legs up. Okay, I'm going to attack. You're going to defend. Ready? Two. And fly front kick if you're up room. And back. Okay, now the other side. Two. And return. Okay, Mr. Gordon, we're practicing one step sparring. So when I punch, look, when I punch, you do your, your block and then your flying front kick. Okay, right leg back first. And then the other time, left leg back. And forearm going off. So I'm attacking, you're defending. Once more, I'll attack, you defend. Gotta wait. As soon as you see me move, you move. Don't block before I move. <laughs> nice, Mr. West. And then we return together. Two. Luke, you do the block and the kick with the same count. Wait for me to punch. And now you're flying front kick, Luke, if you've got room or just on the ground if you haven't. That's it. And model. Okay, once more. Okay, young guys. Lucas, Ethan, I want to see some rear, and Zach as well. I want to see big flying. Big fly. Tell you what, if you can put a hole in the ceiling with your head, I'll pay for it. That's your challenge. Doesn't apply to you big guys. Just to those three. Ready, go! Actually, young guys, don't put a hole in the ceiling, all right? Just jump as high as you can. Mum and dad will be very angry with me if there's a hole in the ceiling. Okay, other side. Two. <laughs> Nate and Jessica, stop clowning around. And butt off. Okay, cool, that's the first one. The next one. I'm going to do knife hand side strike. So when the knife hand side strike comes in this way, you're going to do forearm inward block. Then from here, you're going to step off to the side a little bit, do a flying turning kick to the chest, go to the solar plexus. So the knife hand's coming here. You're going to go one, shift off, two. Okay. So the knife hand side strike comes in here. You're going to block it. One, shift off, flying kick, two. Flying turning kick. Okay, ready. Knife hand side shot. Two. Go straight to the counters, Mr. West. Don't worry about doing the attacks with me. You're just doing the counters. Left side. Two. Block, flying turning kick. Yeah, that's it. Imagine where my body is. You want to kick here. And if you're really going for it, kick up here. Let's do it again. Two. Good, Mr. West. Okay, let's do the other side. Two. <laughs> 
and return. Now, if anyone's a little bit stuck, come up close to the computer and look at the little videos across the top of the screen. Okay, if you watch Mr. West or Mr. Bajan, you'll see what they're doing. Okay, ready? We'll do it once more. Two. Good, Elijah. And the other side. Two. Oh, Mr. Bajan is pretty advanced in doing his syllabus where he doesn't block first, he just dodges. It's awesome. I wonder why he was so fast. And but all. Okay, so that's two. So blue belts, your compulsory techniques are flying front kick, flying turning kick, flying side kick. So we're gonna do one more that works for flying side kick. So when we put these together, we simply think about what sorts of attacks would work for the counter attack that you need to do. So you want an open target. Okay, so that could be stepping off to the side for somebody who's in an L stance, or it could be somebody front on this way. So what, we're going to, what I'm going to do to attack this time is I'm going to do L stance side punch. When the punch comes in, you're going to shift off and do your guarding block, and then jump up, front leg flying side piercing kick. Okay, so once more, I'm going to step forward and do an L stance side punch. So my body's open side is this way. Okay. When the punch comes in, you shift off and do your guarding block and L stance. Finish your stance. Make sure this looks good before you do the next bit. Then jump up, side piercing kick to my open side, and then make your guarding block. Okay, ready. Ready, I'm gonna attack. Two. Make sure you're piercing with that side kick. Mr. Bajan is just going to dodge. He's not blocking. Ready? Two! So now try and get some grunt out with that side kick. Right side again. Two! And left side. Nice, okay, now we're gonna do all three in a sequence. Remember the first one, I did a middle punch, you stepped on a slight angle and did another four-hour middle block, and then did a flying front kick. The second one, I did knife hand side strike. The knife hand side strike. I can't remember what we did to defend. Four-hour middle block, I think that's right. And then we stepped off a little bit and did flying turning kick. And then for number three, when I did the side punch, you shifted off to the side and then did your flying side piercing kick. Okay, ready. One, left, right and left. Two, right and left. Three, right and left. Okay. Yep. Uh, is that a uh, middle forearm inward block? Is that with an L stance or walking stance? In this case, yeah, good question, Mr. West. In this case, we'll do it in an L stance because it'll give us more mobility for that flying turning kick. Good question. Okay, number one, two. And you counter attack, flying front kick. There we go. And now the left side, two. Good. And now the knife hand side strike for your turning kick. Good. And the other side. Good. Good. Number three, I'm doing a side punch, you shift off to the side kick, flying side kick. 
Good, straight neck kick out. And the other side. Good, Lucas. And return. And bottle. Grab a quick drink. Okay, just before we finish up, I'm gonna watch while I get you all to do your own pattern twice. Just a little bit of a reminder for those of you in a limited space, all your stances, I want to be good and strong. No little wussy stances in order to finish it in, in space, okay? Instead, if you run out of space, you adjust. So if I've only got this much space here, and I'm doing Dangun, I might be going one, oh, not quite enough room, two, three, four. When I run out of space, I simply take a step back holding the position. I can do good stances all the way through. Everybody understand? Give the thumbs. Okay. Ready, your own pattern. To be. Yo. Yes, Mr. West, fun cat. Yes, that is your second time. The first one's that way. Two punches, that's it, fast motion. Now your front leg moves to the, that's it. One, two, and then one, one, two, and then punch. Step forward and punch. Now you go to your bending stance. Side kick, elbow. Now lift the other leg up for side kick, elbow. Samsung Kamaki. Yeah, that's it. Correct. Thrust. Step forward and thrust. Yeah, thrust. Straight finger to thrust, like Del Sun. That's it. Now the same thing on the other side. Thrust. Now the first movement of Dosan. That's it. And punch. Forward and do the same. Now your back fist jumping. Jump about a walking stance length. And then your double forearm high block. That way first. Yes. And now the other way. So, uh, come back, Loki. Come back to the previous one. Okay, now step your feet together and then step out the other side. Yeah, that's it, that's it. High block, good. Okay. Mr. Bajan, feel free next pattern to do a, a different pattern if you want to. And come on, battle. Uh, just make sure blue belts that your top hand is nice and flat and your bottom hand is also nice and flat okay? and your fingertips kind of line up so you reach your front hand over a little bit 
So that forearm, both forearms are nice and flat. The bottom one's elbow tight to your body and the top one just reaches over a little bit. And the blocking tool blue belt for that movement is actually your reverse light hand, this bit here. And then you catch the stick in, your, in the gap between your thumb and uh, fingers. You hit it here and it slides in and you catch it here. Okay, come on, butter. Now just before we do that once more, I've got a really good question that came through on chat and I'll answer that for everyone. Um, asked whether the, he, someone thought that the third attack for one step sparring for blue belts is a side turning kick. And you're absolutely right in the book it is. Now, in step sparring, really step sparring is open as long as it's pre-arranged. You can do any attack and any defense combination within the rules of that form of step sparring as long as it's pre-arranged with your partner, okay? So with three step sparring, it's three attacks that are the same and then block, block, block that are the same and counterattack. That's the rules. It can be any attack, any defense. Tends to stick to walking stances and L stances because it's pretty junior level. Then when you get to two step, you do one hand attack, one foot attack, block, block, counterattack, okay? Or block, shift, counterattack. It can be hand, then foot, then foot, then hand. Now in our organization, we pre-arrange the attacks and the defenses for two step because it's easier if you partner up with somebody you haven't met before. Makes it much, much easier. One step, there are also examples in the book that you can use, and I absolutely use them. I just can never remember what they are. I just know what the counterattacks are. The cool thing with one step is as long as you think straight away what's an attack that works with that counterattack, it is possible to do that with a partner and say, I'd like you to attack with a uh, Alstan side punch, please. They know what an Alstan side punch is. They attack with it. You block and counterattack. So you don't have to be so pre-arranged because you can do that pre-arrangement fairly in a fairly quick, short order. If you do know the ones in the book, great. No problem with that at all. That's, in fact, it's, it's really good to do that. I just do, I do like being a bit more creative. Okay, that's the answer to the question. Once more through the pattern, Mr. Bayer might do a different pattern because he's got three of his own patterns. Everybody else, repeat your own pattern once more. Jabi. Jump. Bit flat there, Liam. The reverse knife hand, shoulder height. That movement one and movement three, you want to be shoulder height. Then movements, uh, sorry, movement one and movement four. Movement three and movement six, they're the ones that are flat-ish because they come upwards. So the first one's across like this. First one is just like this movement in Chonji, but with your reverse knife hand. Shoulder height, bend your elbow. Watch those stances. Lucas and Ethan, hold your stance. Really, Mr. Bajan, that's it. Then step together and step forward. Uh, that, yeah, that's it, correct. And now high punch. You might just not have stepped the other side and catch it. With your twin fist vertical punch, Mr. Bajan, just start with your palms up, relaxed elbows, and then it kind of punches in this way. That palms up and then forward. And with your uh, side fist downward strike, you put me a little bit too much into a fixed stance rather than an L stance. So just make sure you've got the body weight in your L stance. Where am I? Oh no, sorry, before that, not the down side with this downward strike. So from here, you've got one, two, here. You're a little bit too much in fixed in the knife end 
then you're in close stance here. One, two, you got a little bit too much weight on the front leg here. That's it. From here, left foot moves, one, right foot moves, right, both feet move, thrust, then two feet, two feet, really kick, step together, guarding block, step forward and punch, stamp, front kick, and forward and punch. I really should have done that back here so you can see. Come on, bottle. Okay, thanks guys. Sitting down, left leg out. Right leg over the top. And twist. Okay, so after some basic kicks today, we did three step together, we did two step together, we did one set together, we did some patterns, just a couple of patterns at the end. Now we're stretching off. Make sure that you're taking a little bit of time while you're home to read some of your syllabus handbooks. So the White Belt Syllabus Handbook's got some amazing material in it. I want everybody for homework to learn how to fold their dobok according to the book. And change feet. The White Belt Handbook has in that how to fold the dough ball. If you don't have the white belt handbook, which is some of you younger guys, then instead your homework is to read from the book the sections about sine wave, heights, and lines, center line, chest line, shoulder line. Okay, so learn about that information on the internet maybe. A little bit of research on sine wave if you don't have the book. And both feet forwards. Breathe in. And out. I'll try again with some sensible homework. For those of you who've got the white belt handbook, What was it I told you to do? Oh, getting too tired today. Whatever I told you to do with the white belt handbook, do that. Those of you who don't have the white belt handbook, I've got a better idea. I want you to go onto our website and on our website, there's some instructions and a page you can print out to make a little Taekwondo person out of a piece of paper. Those of you who don't have the white belt handbook, I want you to print that out, make that little figure and show me at the start of next class. The, the under resources in our COVID-19 class is a place that you can make your own little figure up. You young guys, that's your homework. Okay, heels in. Ah, oh, that's right. Everyone else was how to fold the dough ball. Ha, huh, got it. White belt handbook. There's instructions for how to fold the dough ball. And let's part. Set up nice and tall. Sorry, Gilbert Sahadis, I hope you weren't waiting too long there. You just missed the homework, so I'll tell you again. In the white belt handbook, which I believe at least you've got, Miss Gilbert Sahadi, there are instructions for how to fold the uniform, the dobo. So I want you to learn how to fold the uniform for homework. 
And those that didn't have that handbook can go on our COVID-19 page and in the resources down towards the bottom, they can find the instructions, print out for a little Taekwondo person, print that out, cut it out and make your little Taekwondo person so you can show me before the next class. You can even take photographs and email them to me or whack them on our Facebook page. And up uh, on the side. And legs in, standing up, left leg behind. Young guys, if any of you need to go to the bathroom during class, just bow and pop out, okay? You don't need to, to ask me. Just bow, duck out and come back as quickly as you can. Or even better, go to the toilet before class begins. And change. Mr. Gordon, did you think the class started at six? It's at five. Class starts at five just while we're at home. And shot, sure, relax. Okay, now just a little bit of an update for you. I'm hoping we can get our classes started back in the centers as soon as possible, but that will depend on what the schools allow. Okay, so Glendale Primary School have already come to me and said that they're not allowing anybody to hire the hall in term two, and they're reevaluating in term three. The good news for us, of course, is we have three venues. So I'm in touch with the other two venues, Churchill Park and Koe Marama School, to see what venues we can get up and running as soon as possible. The schools are currently waiting for information from the Ministry of Education. So that could come out in the next few days because I believe the Prime Minister was announcing what level two looks like tonight. So over the next couple of days, our organisation should hear from the Ministry of Education, the school should hear from the Ministry of Education, and then I'll update you via our email as quickly as possible and let you know what classes we can get up and running and what the rules will have to be around getting classes going. In the meantime, we've got our Zoom classes. So I hope you enjoyed class tonight. Thank you all very much for coming. Really cool to see some new faces. I'll look forward to seeing you again next class on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Thanks, guys. Ta-da. Go, man. Take a lot. Huzzah. Thanks, guys. Bye, Bye sir. Bye, guys. Good night. Thanks for coming again. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Good to see you back, Mr. Bajan. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mr. Trotter. Bye. Good night, guys. Be see your families.